What were your impressions of your uh, first taste of this rivalry? Uh, it was great, man. It was historical, and it's great to be a part of something like that. Um, just being part of it and having the rest of being out there going against the Spartans was great, man. Just enjoying the celebration with my teammates and just playing our hearts out and getting the dub. Couldn't have a better feeling. Is this why you came here to play in games like that? Oh, yeah, for sure, 100%. How different did it feel playing in this one, you know, suited up for Michigan instead mm -hmm. of CMU? Uh, it, it was great, man. It was just, like I said, being part of a Michigan-Michigan State rivalry and having that historical victory is completely amazing. I wish it was week after week doing something like that. Well, on field, I kind of meant, like, do you feel, oh, does yeah. it feel different? Like, I mean, obviously considering the Oh, rivalry? yeah, because it's way more emotion. It's a whole, it's a rivalry. So, like, the game itself speaks for itself. It's a whole lot of emotion, like I said. It's a lot of guys just trying to get a dub and just going head to head. You're getting close to the end here. Are you happy about your decision? you feel good about things? Oh, yeah, I, wouldn't re I don't regret it at all. I'm sad I was coming to the end. I feel like I just got here. It's coming to the end. But it's been a blink of an eye, and it's already, you know, <coughs> end of November. And I'm just trying to make the most out of every opportunity I get being here. Have you still kept in moment? contact with them? Have you still kept in contact with some of your former CMU teammates oh, yeah. and how they're doing this year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I talk to my buddies on the team like every week, and they tell me how the outcome in the game. I know they're about to. Uh, I think they're in a run to win the uh, Mac West or Mac East or something. <coughs> Is there any one moment when you really realized that hey, I did the right thing here? You know, this is good. You know, just after every win and just being able to be with the team in the locker room, it just you just don't get no better than that. Just being able to. Celebrate a W in the locker room with the t with the team, with the coaches, and you know, just being around it, you just can't beat it. Where have you seen your seen your game improve the most? Um, kind of in all different aspects, whether it's pass, pass rush, running, run stopping. I feel like my game just you know went to another level. I feel comfortable playing out there. I feel great now, and I feel like there's no hesitation in my game, which allows me to play at the fastest pace I can play at. <coughs> Like I said, I feel great out there. My, my pass rushing flag is upgraded and my run stopping flag is upgraded. So I say all around. How much of a role has Sean played in that? A big role. I mean, we do, I practice with him every single day. So it's like, we do our indie preparation, the way he pre prepares us for the week. It's been great. He's been doing an outstanding guy, out, uh, excuse me, outstanding job for us. And it's what, week 11. And, we still got bowl camp. We still got two weeks left. There's still a whole lot more we can do. Mm -hmm. Given that it's his first year here, too, what stands out to you most about him? Um, he's very down to earth. He wants the best for his young dudes, his players, everybody. He wants everybody to develop. And, you know, he just, like I said, he just wants the best for you. He's a real down to earth coach. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't put nothing ahead of him because he just wants the best for you. What has he taught you? Um, just embrace every single moment you get, you know. Every single moment you get, it may go by just like that in the stamp of your fingers, but you know, you just gotta live in a moment. Don't worry about the weeks to come. Worry about the important weeks like right now. We can't worry about what's happening next week. We gotta worry about the week right now. Cam talks. Oh, sorry. Are there aspects of your game that you feel have improved because of him? Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like I said, all around my game has improved. My awareness has improved. Just run stopping, pass rushing, just being a sound football player all around. I feel like he helped me a lot. Cam talked yesterday like about he came up from a tackle on Saturday and mm -hmm. he'd watched these rivalry games for a few years but he looked around him and realized like oh I'm actually in it now. Mm -hmm. Is there a similar moment for oh, you yeah, on Saturday? Yeah, it kinda just like when the kickoff started, it was kinda just like it's time to rock and roll. Now you're part of history, so you're either gonna be a legend or you know, you're just gonna go down with history. On a week to week basis, what's the biggest difference between playing, you know, group of five versus power five? Um, just kinda uh the all-around aspect, rather, who you have next to you, who you're going against. Some guys may be bigger, some guys may be faster, but all around, it's still the same competition. Every guy want to get the W, but, you know, it's just like an increase of probably size, speed, and kind of all-around awareness type, type deal. It's a little bit faster. <coughs> Mike, I know it's only been 10 games, but has there been a moment for you this season that kind of stands out where you, you realize, I belong here, this is where I belong? Um, I would probably say beginning of the season, you know, kind of after Wisconsin, after all the adversity we went through and kind of just bouncing back and kind of responding the way we did. Um, nothing like that, being with a bunch of guys on defense or offense that's all hungry, that all want to respond, all that want to, they're just quiet, depressed, quiet everybody and just play for each other. Did Central ever move you around the line on, on pass rush? Uh, 
No, I was always just outside rush. I never did like three tag or uh, two tag. Kind of just stuck to the five. So what's that adjustment like for you then this season? Um, it's been great. You know, it just shows that I can be versatile. Like I said, I can. I like rushing from the five, but I also like rushing from the three. Now I never did that before, but rushing the guard and having that experience has been great for me. It's been doing me well. Mm -hmm. Was that a selling point when you were recruiting, or did you find that out once you got here? Um, I mean, I kind of found out when when I got here. I didn't really know whether I was going. I never, I never knew if I was going to be three or two or five. But you know, just being able to fulfill that role and try to give it my all and just be ready when my numbers call. This is a one-year stop for you, a place you dreamed about playing. Do you, do you kind of? I, don't, I think you said Sean said it goes by in a snap. Do you mm -hmm. really focus on every moment and the oh, snapshots yeah. of everything? Oh, yeah. I always try to live in a moment. You know, that started from, like, early summer. I always just – I knew it was flying by fast. And I just try to live in a moment. I don't worry about what's going to happen next week, what's going to happen the next day. I just try to worry about what's in front of me right now and kind of just, you know, live that moment out because you know what happens today is going tomorrow. So, you know, I just try to live it out and give it the best I can. Did you have expectations for, for what was going to happen this year? This oh, yeah, I have big expectations and big team goals, individual goals. But just being here has been great. I feel like it's nothing I regret. I, I love being here. I love putting in work with this team, playing for the coaches, playing for my teammates. And, you know, it's a great environment. Was there any point in the season where you guys had to kind of reassess those, those team goals? Was that ever a process that you guys went through after some of those tough moments? Uh, I wouldn't say we really had to reass uh, reassess our goals, but we kind of just knew, like, we just got to keep our eyes on the prize and, you know, just take it one week at a time and take it one game at a time. It really, We really emphasize just take it one play at a time. Every time we don't feel, we just say one play at a time, one down at a time. Don't worry about the next down or the next play. Just worry about what you can do now, what you can handle now. How important is that mindset? I mean, obviously, Indiana is having a really good year, but it mm -hmm. is sandwiched between two rivalry games for mm -hmm. you guys. How important is it to carry over that mindset into mm -hmm. this week? I mean, we can't look past any opponent. You know, uh, kind of like Coach New always told us, just like the most important week is this week. So, you know, we can't look past them. We got to focus, focus up on our game this week. We got to prepare, right? We got to prepare just like at, at the best of our ability and just come out ready on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs>